Oh, hi there. Little bedtime quiz for you. What's the most dangerous button that you can think of? Uh, yeah, they're not really dangerous unless, I guess unless they were the size of a house. No, 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 no. Oh man, that is the worst feeling, but still not dangerous, just, uh, just stupid. Uh, no, that's just a weird film. You will respect my authority! Yeah, I'll give you that one, that is actually pretty dangerous, but also unlikely. You know what the most dangerous button is for people like you and me? It's the snooze button. It's the devil! The devil! Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to change for bed. <sighs> Excellent. The thing is, there are so many physical and psychological reasons that you should kick the snooze habit. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you what they are, <sighs> but right after I've had a kip. The biggest mistake that clock watch phone manufacturers ever made was to make it easier for us to delay when we wake up. I mean, I am sure that it was an honest attempt to help us wake up gradually and to remove that stress of having to get up when that first alarm goes, but genuinely, it's the worst mistake we can make. <clears throat> so if you struggle for motivation or you've got something that you want to start but you've never known how, like a hobby, exercise, a healthy diet, believe it or not, it could be as simple as changing how you wake up up. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Look at it this way. Waking up is literally how we start every day, hopefully. So how we do it says a lot about how we view ourselves. Snooze is just another way to procrastinate, another way to delay the inevitable, but much more than that happens. <laughs> We sleep in cycles of about 90 to 120 minutes per night, apart from at the end of the full sleep cycle when our body moves into a type of gradual wake up mode. I look at it as our inbuilt snooze function that we already have. So when the alarm goes off, in theory, you should be ready to start the day. Hit snooze and try and go back to sleep and effectively you're putting yourself back into a 90 minute cycle. But then you're trying to get up 5-10 minutes later and you are ripping yourself prematurely from that new cycle. So have you ever wondered why you feel groggy after you've hit the snooze button? It's because it takes around 4 hours to recover from ripping yourself prematurely from a sleep cycle. And what about the trauma? When an alarm goes off, it triggers a physiological response. Increased body temperature, heart rate increases, sleep becomes lighter and your body releases cortisol to give you enough energy to get you up. Have you heard of cortisol before? It's a stress hormone. So essentially your body's going into a sort of mini shock to get you out of bed. And you hit snooze and do that a second time. Hit snooze and do it a third time and a fourth time. You're putting yourself through shock and trauma numerous times. Let's move away from the physical for a second though and talk psychological because getting up in the morning when that first alarm goes off is the easiest victory and mental boost you can ever give yourself. The first thing you've done in the morning is won a battle. So why don't you win two and make your bed as soon as you're out of it because you will thank yourself when you go to bed and it's already made in the evening. Whatever it is you want to achieve, be it getting more consistent exercise or starting that business or writing that book you wanted, can all come from this one anchor habit. It can be that one easy habit that we build all other habits on top of in a process called chaining. How about you set your clothes out the night before, set an alarm, wake up on the alarm, put those clothes on, go out and exercise. And all of that is pretty simple because you've just set up your environment that way. You could even use Mel Robbins five second rule, which is a brain override trick. 
By counting down from five to one and adding in some kind of movement or action, you're engaging your prefrontal cortex, which overrides your brain's natural inclination to kill the thought of doing something. It's basically taking action over thought. This is the part where I get changed. Done. Positive thoughts are gonna start flowing. You are gonna have more energy and over time, you are gonna have a heightened sense of well-being. Because at the end of the day, you're showing yourself that you're worth taking care of and that you can do whatever you want if you just put your mind to it. So why don't we all grab life by the cajones and kick snooze habit to the curb. And if you're still worried about being able to achieve it, then the easiest way to start is to move the alarm clock or your phone or your watch to another room. Manufacture or engineer your environment to suit your needs. Uh, so this isn't about being a morning person or not, this is about being the type of person that drives their life forward in the most positive terms possible and it starts at the point you wake up. So I'll finish by asking you this, what choice are you going to make tomorrow?